Hello, you sparkly little flower pots. I hope you're well today. I'm fine. Uh, I am, as you know, Professor Carrie Quinlan of the University of Daffodils and Sweetcorn. And I, together with Dr Andy Stanton of the Higher Education College of Wheelie Bins and Smells, do a podcast called Ask the Nincompoops in which children come, ask us questions, and we tell them things, and they go, wow. We can't do that at the moment. So we're doing this. We're doing videos for you uh, from St Dictionary's Book of Words. We tell you about a word, and you go, wow. That is the plan. That is how it works. Come back every weekday and learn a new word. Today's word. From St Dictionary's Book of the Words. I'm going to go for the very middle. Well, as close to the middle as I can get. Ready? Obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. That, um, of course, um, obtuse angle is uh, one of the less intelligent angles. Um, now, you get uh, an acute angle, which is, of course, one of the um, sweeter angles, and then an obtuse angle is, um, is 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 less intelligent than the rather rather sweet angles, and consequently, obtuse angles quite often bully cute angles, um, which seems seems a bit unfair. Um, but they're only doing that because they feel um, they feel a bit undermined because they're not as cute. As, a, as the cute angles, and they're a bit obtuse, um, which is a shame because actually they've got their own their own merit, obtuse angles. And if, if they only stop worrying about not being quite as cute as the cute angles, um, or as intelligent as the cute angles, they'd really have a happier time. And actually, they'd find out that they had quite a lot in common with the acute angles because they're both angles so why don't they just you know come together we're all just angles right whether you're cute or obtuse you're all angles and you've got that in common and you can talk to each other just sort of find out what what makes each other tick um find out why maybe you're feeling the way you do and if you do if you if you do disagree if a, if a cute angle and an obtuse angle disagree on something maybe they can just talk about it rather than rather than shout at each other or or write angry tweets about each other um it'd be a much much better um angly world i think um if if we could just bring the obtuse and the cute angles together and often you can you can bring uh, an obtuse angle and an acute angle together, and if they match, you get a lovely sort of straight line. And it, it, don't we all? Isn't that all? What we all really, really want—just a nice, steady, straight line without any of the angles fighting with each other because they're worried about not being intelligent enough or not being cute enough. Or um, and of course, sometimes the the cute angles get a bit caught up in being so cute and think they're better. Than the obtuse angles. It's not all just you know one-way traffic of obtuse angles maybe bullying the cute angles. The cute angles get a bit smug about about how sweet they are and and undermine the obtuse angles and that just seems seems ridiculous and a shame. So um, basically uh, the small today's today's um, homeschooling with the nincompoops is more than more than an explanation. It's really a plea to all the angles of the world, whether they're obtuse or cute. So just come together and talk to each other and maybe iron out, iron out their differences so they can be a straight, lovely flat line. Um, and I think, I think the world would be, be, would be better that way. Um, we need to appreciate what both sorts of angles bring to the table, which is angles and degrees. Um, now obtuse angles, um, interestingly, obtuse angles, um, despite feel it, certainly feeling that they're, um, they're not as intelligent or as, or as sweet as the cute angles, obtuse angles do have more degrees. So um, that's a pun. So enjoy that. Uh, and, and let's see if we can create a world where no angle feels lesser than another angle. Um, and we can all just 
live together in in angly harmony i think i think that's not too much to ask for so um good luck doing that everyone bringing the angles together and uh and come back come back um the next the next edition of homeschooling with an income books will be andy stanton oh dr andy stanton telling you about another of St Dictionary's Book of Words and maybe trying to make the world a better place like we have today by getting angles to be friends. So um, tune in next time, whatever that means. (laughs) 